Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome back. Well, here we go. My honest review of the Quest 3. All right. So this sucker comes out. We get it on Tuesday. Um, my sister and I both get one. And I'm excited. You know, I wasn't planning on getting one uh, till at least Bl Black Friday, uh, which I absolutely recommend. In fact, I, I got a couple of recommendations for y'all when it comes to this uh, this thing right here. And let's just go ahead and get it out of the way real quick. Okay. Uh, if you've never played VR before, and it's your first time playing VR, and you're interested in the world of VR, and you kind of want to know if you'd like it or not, my absolute recommendation is check Marketplace, check your Facebook Marketplaces, and get a used Quest 2 with everything that I was talking about in the previous video. With Make sure it comes with the Bobo VR uh, M2 Pro head strap. You'd be lucky to get that because if it's somebody selling their Quest 2 for Quest 3, the Bobo VR head strap does have a conversion kit that you can convert your 2 to fit the 3's head straps. Yes, I have the 3 right here. Um, headset. So... If you're lucky, if you if you if you're lucky, you can, you can find one that somebody didn't realize that and get a Bobo VR M2 Pro head strap with with the battery swap. Make sure it at least has one battery. If it has two batteries with it, then even better. And the pad, even better. Uh, if it has a VR cover, even better. If it has the rip grip, the the wrist grips, even better. That'd be the whole package. If it has the uh, the travel container, even better. If you can get all that for three hundred dollars. I would I would buy it. I'd buy it right then. If it was a 128, clean, no scratches, no nothing like that, and had all that shit on, you would know the person's serious about their VR and if they do have all that shit on it. Uh, so that would be my major uh, first recommendation because this sucker right here, this was the 128 at 499. I do not believe it should have been 500 dollars from what I've experienced. I would have priced this thing out at the highest end at 399, 400 dollars, 100 dollars difference because. Again, just like the two, you're going to have to buy a brand new head strap because this one, within about 10 minutes, not even that long, you're going to start feeling the pressure of this head strap because it's not comfortable. It's, it's garbage, just like the two. Uh, and you're going to have to replace the, the face interface. This one, actually, I almost think is worse than the, 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 the Quest 2 original one. It could be because of the strap, but these two things combined, I believe, definitely going to do the strap. That one's going to be first. The uh, face interface, I'm going to see how it is with the new head strap, but I'm almost positive this is going to have to be replaced too. So there's at least, if, you, if you're if you using a conversion kit, that's $16, but you already have to have a Bobo VR too. If you don't, then there's $70. You can get a, Q3, uh, a Bobo VR Pro three for the quest three but right now it's currently un unavailable because everybody that has a quest three is already throwing this piece of junk out, out of the way that's why i said 399 not 499 and you got to replace that the controllers the old older controllers had this big ring on them which i like because you can hold the controller on your ring you can when you set it down for uh hands-free tracking it just sat controllers up it was just it seemed like they were easier to use uh, and now because I have these ones, guess what? I got to go buy, you know, I already spent $20 on a new set of wrist grips. So yeah. So this thing, if it was $400 and cool, I, I can understand you spend an extra blah, blah, blah for that and this, but at $500, no, nah, not, not having to replace that and this. And then as far as like right now, there is no quest 3 games on it there's not a single game that says we are quest 3 exclusive game blah 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 uh as far as a hardcore video game there is the uh the the mixed reality stuff which is your basic tech demo you know it's the stuff you're gonna play for about five ten minutes and you go okay that was fun and silly where's the games so now you're gonna go through your library of quest 2 games straight off the bat the 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 first thing you're gonna notice is your vision the field of vision is wider could it have been even wider wider for five hundred dollars absolutely but it you can tell there is a difference in the in the wideness of of your field of vision uh the the graphics 
our sharper it says a total of 30 percent uh which for five hundred dollars should have been fifty percent whatever but these games that i've been checking out now have not been enhanced for quest 3 so as like the walkabout golf and stuff i looked at i could tell oh yeah it looks a little bit better but it, it still hasn't even been enhanced so it's going to look even better once the developers go okay we enhanced this part like the the saints and sinners one they keep putting on display like oh look at saints and sinners compared yeah that's something that's not out yet so that's that's for saints and sinners one not even saints and sinners two even though they make it look like it's saints and sinners two it's not it's not even out yet so whatever uh, so, and then there's the, the 649, 512 gig that my sister got. Hey, praise her. She wanted to spend the money on that. She's going to use that, th that thing solely and just fill up the su sucker up throughout its complete, um, timeline. But my recommendation, like I said, to finish this off is if it's your first time getting, uh, if you, if you have a shitload of money, you don't mind burning a thousand dollars, then go ahead, you know? Get get a Quest Three, and if you got a great P, if you got a PC, get Steam VR and play this with Half Life Alex, and that's it. You've just played the best VR game there is out there, and I haven't even played it, but I know Half Life, and I know that yeah, I'm sure from the from what I've heard that it's it's probably the best VR experience, and in this, it's even better. This sucker. They're like, oh, it's got full color pass through. Now the quest through, when you hit the pass through, you hit the side and you'd be like, okay, now you can see your room. It was black and white, grainy as shit. You couldn't read a damn thing. It sucked. So the, the full color pass through in an upgrade, $500, you think it's going to be awesome. And then you, you, you put it on and at first you're like, whoa, it looks like my room. But then as you start moving around and looking and stuff like that, you look at anything with words. And it kind of has like a water effect. It kind of looks, you know, a little bubbly. And, and you, you look at your phone, you know, you have to kind of work with it. So it really, it looks like just a color version of the same shit from Quest 2 with a little bit more clarity because you can see it kind of a little pixely. I don't know if I expected like glass, but for $500 and I don't have any games yet, I'm kind of looking for a little more. So... Let's wrap this up. And uh, like I said, if you want to go big, uh, just know that when you get this, if you if you're not ready to invest in the extra strap and the face interface and all that stuff, you'll probably play it for about two weeks, and then you won't want to play it because it's discom it's it's uncomfortable to wear, and that is a shame for the um, product to make a product so uncomfortable, kind of like the virtual uh, virtual boy that. You're not going to be able to sell it because this, this. So fix your shit, y'all. And uh, let me go see if my grips came in. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, like I said, I love VR. Get on VR if you haven't tried it before. If you have any questions, ask me. You know you know how to find me on my socials. And um, yeah, I'd go with the, I'd, I'd do what I, I'd have what I have. I, I, I think I still would be playing my Quest 2 just for the comfort until this other shit comes.